Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my February favorites. There's still an echo in this room because I don't have all my furniture in here. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're super confused by the ugly yellow doors and the weirdness that's going on behind me, then watch my previous video. I explain everything there. I said I was gonna paint the doors that day and we didn't end up painting them and yeah. Things are moving a little bit slow, but they're moving along. But yeah, definitely watch that video if you haven't yet. But that's why there's an echo. Anyway, let's move on. These are the products that I have really, really been loving this month. Well, in February. I'm super late on this video, by the way. I always post the favorites videos right on time, right on schedule. But since I've been moving and since I've had no internet, this sudden problem is going to get to me. But anyway, like I was saying, since I've had no internet, I haven't been able to film and post this video. And that's why there's a gap between this one and my previous video. Hopefully when this one goes up, I will have my internet already and I'll be able to respond to comments and get the ball rolling. So yeah, anyway, let's jump into the products I've really been loving. Okay, so my first favorite is a huge game changer for me. Um, and this is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. It's basically a mascara primer and it is the best I have ever used. I went on this huge hunt for the best primer for my mascara because I didn't want to use falsies all the time but I still wanted my lashes to hold a curl longer and to look longer and more voluminous. So I bought the Lancome one because it had great reviews online and don't get me wrong, it's a great primer. It's amazing but this one is 10 times better. Like 30, 20, 50 times better. What I love about this one is that it goes on black. It is a black primer which usually the primers are like white and sometimes can turn your mascara gray but this one goes on black and it is phenomenal. I first heard about this because Emily Noel mentioned it in her like yearly favorites and I was like, hmm, I have to check that out. And I'm so glad I did. This gives my lashes a ton of volume. I actually apply this in sections. I do one eye, then apply mascara, and then do this eye, and then apply mascara. Not only does it make your mascara super, super like thick and long and black, it amplifies them a ton, but it holds a curl big time. Like your eyelashes stay curled throughout the entire day. And also, it just makes your mascara last a lot longer. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's a little bit harder to remove than my regular mascara. I despise waterproof mascara. Like I will not, I don't care. I hate waterproof mascara because I just, I don't like going on the mission of taking it off because I'm lazy like that, but this kind of makes it a little bit difficult to remove. Not like waterproof status. Like this does not waterproof your mascara at all. But it just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta remove it a little bit better. You know what I mean? But I could totally deal with that because this is a game changer, folks. Best primer ever. My next favorite is a perfume, and I am a perfume junkie. I don't know if you can see them. I'm obsessed with perfume. And this is the one that I have been wearing all month. I haven't worn another perfume. Which, I mean, a, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I had, you know, packed those away during the move and this is the only one I kept out, but still, I love it. This is the Jessica Simpson perfume and this is called, I believe it's called Signature. Like that's, it doesn't say anything on the bottle and the box says Signature on it. So yeah, Jessica Simpson Signature, I'm pretty sure. This is like the smallest one that they carry. I found it at Ulta one day when I was like shopping and I smelled it. And I was like, ooh, I loved it so much that I just put it in my bag and I bought it. But I bought the small one because I don't like perfumes made by celebrities because they don't tend to last a long time on my skin, which is the case for this. This isn't a super long wearing perfume by any means, but I love how it smells. It's very like bubbly and like girly, feminine and young and like for the daytime. That's why I really like it, it's very fresh. Like when I wear this, my mom was telling me like, man, you smell so good, like I wanna eat you. It's a little weird, but she was like, you smell so good, I wanna eat you. And I was like, I know, Jessica Simpson signature. It reminds me a lot of bubblegum. Like a fresh, like a bubblegum and a fresh springtime. I don't know, it's a mixture of both, like super fresh and kind of like bubblegum. I would look up the notes for you, but you guys know I have no reception and I have no internet, so. Yeah, as you can see, I made a huge dent on this. It, I bought it this month and it's the only perfume I've been wearing. Well, I bought it last month, February. Okay, so these are so good, guys. I got this in my swag bag when I went to the NYX event when I was in California. 
and these impressed me so much they kind of blew me away a little bit these are the NYX gel pencil liners and holy cow they are amazing I have mine in pitch black and brown I don't know what this means it says NYX Tres Jolie Tres, Tres Jolie is that French I don't know but it says NYX Tres Jolie but these are one of the best um, pencil eyeliners that I've ever found at the drugstore. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Maybelline Master Drama, and these compete with that one. I don't know. I don't know. I think it might be even a little bit better. I know. They're so creamy that you don't need to pull on your like waterline or like on your skin to apply this to your waterline because you just go, and they go on so pigmented. I'm talking like true pigment, super creamy. And very long wearing. I feel like they st they stay on my waterline for a really long time. I'm wearing um, brown today in my waterline. And let me show you guys. Oh, another thing is that it's twist up, which I appreciate very mucho. Because, you know, the lazy girl in me doesn't like to sharpen. But look, okay, look, 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 look. Like, wait, 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 wait. You barely have to put any pressure. Now, I don't know if these are out yet because I did get them in that swag bag. But check them out if they are out because they're good. I actually am going to be doing a video soon all about my new favorite skincare products because, excuse me, I have discovered really good skincare stuff. But I do want to mention this because I have been using this a lot and it's amazing. It is from a pricey brand. I got this at Sephora like two months ago or as soon as it released. Like it was on the new display. And it is the Algenist or Algenist? Algenist? Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Melting Cleanser. Now, this is expensive. Okay, that's expensive for here. But the girl like sold it to me. She is like a friend when I go to Sephora. Like the workers know me already. Well, not anymore because I don't live there anymore. But anyway, the girl was like, you really, really have to try this. It's amazing. And she has oily skin and it still works for her. She really liked it. But basically, this is like... A hybrid of it's like uh, it's a cleansing balm but it has like three stages first it applies as a gel so what I like to do is I have a full face of makeup on right and I put this onto my fingers and I start to massage this all over my face and it has like a gel consistency at first um, so I as I start to massage it on my face it turns into an oil so that is like phase two phase one is a gel phase two is an oil but it's not like greasy and gross it just turns into an oil that starts to really break down my face makeup. I usually take off my eye makeup before, but it really breaks down my face makeup. And then when you add water, it turns into a milk, like a milky consistency. And that is phase three. So it goes through three different phases. And I feel like it really, really helps remove my makeup and then make my skin feel like a baby's arse right after. Honestly, when I use this, my skin feels so plump, so hydrated, and that's amazing for someone like me who has dry skin. I highly recommend it. Definitely go into Sephora and get a sample of this because this is changing the way that I take off my makeup. Okay, so next favorite, I wanna give a quick shout out to the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I really love this foundation and I didn't think that I was going to love it because it's matte and poreless. Eh, <laughs> mama got dry skin. The only thing is that if I'm going to use this foundation by itself, I have to really, really moisturize my skin and then use a hydrating primer and then put this on because this can cling to some dry patches, but I don't find that it's overly matte, overly drying, which I can appreciate. I love this in combination with the original Fit Me. I feel like it is my dream foundation because the original Fit Me is super, super dewy, which I like, but it's so dewy that sometimes it's like, whoa, a little much. But together, it creates like such a natural finish. I love it. And it actually lasts a really long time on my skin. The only thing I don't like about this is that it oxidizes on me. This is 120 and I find that when I'm done with my makeup, it looks a little bit darker than my skin. So I have to like bronze and stuff. And now I'm gonna talk about concealers. I have discovered two amazing concealers in February. I really have been loving this little guy. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is a new product to Urban Decay. I bought mine at Sephora. 
and it looks identical to their Naked Skin foundation and honestly it's pretty much the same thing with like a little bit more coverage. It smells exactly the same like paint and it feels the same as in the sense that it's super lightweight on the skin but it has really really good coverage. I don't know, I really like it. I love the applicator that it's like a doe foot but it's flat on each side so it's easy to go like boom boom boom, flip it over and go boom boom boom. Yeah. I like to mix two colors. This is light neutral, but I feel like it's too dark for underneath my eyes. And then I have like fair neutral, which is the lightest one, but I feel like it's too light underneath my eyes. So I like to mix the two. But I'm mentioning this because I love the coverage it gives, yet it doesn't feel heavy on my skin whatsoever, which I appreciate. It does crease a little bit, but if I set it right away, but if I set it right away, then it does not crease on me. I, I just, I really love it. It feels so natural. And then my other discovery that I really like is the Master Conceal by Maybelline. Now this is a thick consistency. Like you feel it and it's thick. And you would think like, oh no, too much. But it's not. As soon as you put it underneath your eyes and you blend it out, it does feel lightweight, but it gives you like full on coverage. Like the coverage on this is really good. I like it, it covers dark circles. Really good coverage. I'm very, very impressed with this. Um, I don't know if I like it more than my Maybelline Fit Me, but for something that has a lot of coverage from the drugstore and doesn't feel heavy, I would go for this. This one is a little bit thinner. This one's a little bit more natural than this one, but for those days where you got like, huh, this is good. This video is getting really long, but I just, I haven't filmed in so long and I miss you guys. I miss you. So another favorite has to do with my under eyes as well, and it is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy. This stuff is so good. It says instantly brighten, depuff, and smooth, safe for sensitive skin. This is just a product that comes out and it's that salmon-y color which is great, you can't see that can you, which is great for um, dark circles. Like the blue underneath your eyes, if you put like a salmon-y color on top, like a peachy concealer, it counteracts the blue and it hides it better. So that's basically what this is, but I like to use this on days that I don't wear makeup, um, or I'm gonna use very, very, very minimal makeup. But it is so good in the morning, I just squeeze like a drop underneath each eye and then twist it over and use this metal part to smooth it out because this metal is like very cooling on the skin and it just feels so nice. It gives your under eyes that cool feeling but then the salmon color kind of hides your under eyes a little bit and at the same time it hydrates underneath your skin so you feel like more refreshed and like more youthful underneath your eyes. I know that seems really stupid but this little triple remedy is really good. I highly recommend it. Okay, we're almost done, I swear, I swear. So my next favorite is a nail polish favorite and it is this one by L'Oreal and it is called Masked Affair. This is the only nail polish, I, wore. I didn't wear a lot of nail polish in February, but when I did, it was this guy. This came out with their Christian Grey or like 50 Shades of Grey collection, which I still see on display and this polish blew me away. Like I bought it and I became obsessed, obsessed. It's a true holographic nail polish, like true holographic, like very true. If you don't, if you want to see what this looks like on the nail, I have pictures um, of me wearing it on Instagram so you can see like the true color. It doesn't look like it's going to be super holographic in the bottle, but it is. I kept looking at my nails the entire time that I was wearing it. Of course, I'm not wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing Essie's Petal Pushers, but I loved it. Okay, so two more things. Um, they're not really makeup related. This is hair care. This has changed the way I feel about my curly hair, which is so crazy. I never thought that I could love something for my curly hair so much because I hate to wear my hair curly. I hate it. But this is the Brio Geo Curl Charisma. This is a rice, amino, and avocado leave-in defining cream, finishing cream for curly to wavy hair. This is the best leave-in cream I have ever used on my curly hair, hands down. I ordered mine at sephora.com. It's amazing. It has no silicones, no parabens, no phthalates, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrances, no artificial colors. And it promotes superior curl definition, reduces frizz, enhances shine, moisturizes and softens. It has avocado oil, quinoa, rice amino acids, and I back this up 100%. Usually when I want to do my hair curly, I have to apply a leave-in conditioner, like a leave-in cream, and then apply mousse on top. I 
have naturally really frizzy like, I don't know, uh, Cuban hair, I guess. <laughs> My dad's hair is super, super curly like Prince and I got his hair. But this is the first leave-in conditioner that I've ever used that doesn't that actually tames my frizz. I put this on my entire hair and I scrunch it up like if it was mousse, but it doesn't get hard, it doesn't get crunchy. It leaves my hair super shiny, super soft, yet it is frizz free and my curls are a lot more bouncy. And I just, I actually enjoy wearing my hair curly now that I have this than I ever did before. Okay, so my next favorite, or my last favorite I should say. This is my last favorite. And it's an empty little bottle. This is the L'Occitane, um, a lot of this is not in English, almond shower oil. Well, shower oil with almond oil. Yeah. This stuff is incredible. I first saw this in California when I was at Sephora and I saw like the big tub, the 16 ounce. And I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money. I'm not buying that. That's expensive. And then I saw this little guy at the register, like in the front, when I went to pay, and it was only $8. It is scary at first because it says it's a shower oil, so you feel like you're going to rub oil all over your body, but that is not the case whatsoever. Um, it may look oily, but as soon as you put it on your hands, it doesn't feel oily. Oily. <laughs> that was a weird accent. It doesn't feel oily. But the second that you mix water with it, like the second water touches it, it turns into the most luxurious, foamy, amazing, like bubbly shower thing in the world. It transforms into magic. I swear, it's magic. I use this especially to shave my legs because I don't use shaving cream because it just makes my skin so soft that I love shaving my legs with it. I leave the shower and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, I feel like a million dollars. It's no joke, the best shower product I've ever used on my body. Like when I, in terms of cleansing my body. I love it so much that I went on Sephora.com and bought the 16 ounce. And I've already dented it majorly. Now at this point, I do think it's worth the money even though it's expensive, it's worth the investment because I just, I, I, my skin feels so nice and I love taking care of my skin. It's so good and it's so good that Danny loves this. Like Danny uses this in the shower, which is so strange. He doesn't really use his ax that much because he loves this so much. In fact, I had taken it out of the shower to place here to use in my favorites video and Danny was like, hey, why'd you take that good stuff out of the shower? And I was like, oh. It's good. I even told Danny's mom one day when we were like all at a hotel, I was like, here, you need to shower with this. It's so good. And as soon as she opened the door, I knew she had used it because the beautiful scent like just released from the shower and I was like, how good was that? Like I make everybody try this. The scent to me is number one. Like I love it so much, but the scent makes me love it 10 times more. It smells like a delicious almond, but like not in a weird like nutty kind of way, like a almond like a delicious like almond paradise and I'm so glad that it's mine <gasps> those were my February favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too long um, and thank you guys so much for the nice comments you've been leaving me um, on Twitter whenever I get the chance to see them you know when my reception decides to kick in thank you guys so much for the nice comments and I know that this is kind of annoying to see like, this is a super ugly background I don't like this I don't like this at all. But you know, in the meantime, I have to deal with this little window and I have to deal with that till my lights come in, until I get my setup. So it's a process, but I'm working through it and I'm still gonna film like this in the meantime that I'm waiting for my lights because I just like posting videos and I hope you guys don't mind. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.